These psalms will help you overcome the evil spirits that await you. With the power of God's word, you shall break the chains of darkness that bind your soul. Like a warrior clad in celestial armor, you shall wield the verses as a mighty sword, slaying the forces of wickedness that seek to ensnare you. Recite these sacred hymns with unwavering faith, and the curse of witchcraft shall be shattered, its malevolent grip loosened from your life's tapestry. Subscribe, and let the divine melodies resonate within you, a beacon of hope in the shadows. Comment with the names of your loved ones, that they too may bask in the light of these hallowed verses. Share this video, and let its message spread like a wildfire, igniting the hearts of all who yearn for deliverance from the accursed snares of the occult. Psalm 66 Shout for joy to God all the earth. Sing the glory of His name, make His praise glorious. Say to God, How awesome are your deeds! So great is your power, that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done His awesome deeds for mankind. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot come. Let us rejoice in Him. He rules forever by His power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against Him. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of His praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you. Vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and hear, all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. May our union bear the fruits of righteousness as we seek to honor you in all our ways. Bless us with the ability to leave a lasting legacy, a tapestry of faith and love that will inspire generations to come. As we give thanks for your blessings, we also lift up our hearts in intercession for those who are hurting, those who are lost, and those who have yet to experience the fullness of your love. May our prayers be like incense rising before your throne, pleading for the salvation of souls and the healing of broken hearts. Use us as vessels of your grace, that we may be ambassadors of your love and instruments of your peace in this world. In the midst of our thanksgiving, we also remember those who have gone before us, the great cloud of witnesses who have run the race with perseverance. We give thanks for their example of faith, for their unwavering commitment to your truth, and for the legacy they have left us. May their lives continue to inspire us to press on toward the prize of the upward call in Christ Jesus. O oh Lord, words fail to express the depth of our gratitude, for your blessings are beyond measure and your love is beyond comprehension. Yet with hearts overflowing, we offer this prayer of thanksgiving as a sweet aroma, a fragrant offering of praise and adoration. May our love for one another be a reflection of your love for us, a love that knows no bounds, a love that transcends time and space. May our union be a living testimony to your faithfulness, and may our lives be a hymn of worship, resounding through the ages, proclaiming your glory, and magnifying your name. In the precious name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we give thanks and offer this prayer forevermore. Amen. Psalm 59. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Be my fortress against those who are attacking me. Deliver me from evildoers and save me from those who are after my blood. See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Arise to help me. Look on my plight. You, Lord God Almighty, you who are the God of Israel, rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Show no mercy to wicked traitors. They return at evening, 
snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. See what they spew from their mouths, the words from their lips are sharp as swords, and they think, who can hear us? But you laugh at them, Lord. You scoff at all those nations. You are my strength, I watch for you. You, God, are my fortress, my God on whom I can rely. God will go before me and will let me gloat over those who slander me. But do not kill them, Lord, our shield, or my people will forget. In your might uproot them and bring them down, for the sins of their mouths, for the words of their lips. Let them be caught in their pride, for the curses and lies they utter. Consume them in your wrath, consume them till they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that God rules over Jacob. They return at evening, snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. They wander about for food and howl, if not satisfied. But I will sing of your strength in the morning, I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You are my strength, I sing praise to you. You, God, are my fortress, my God on whom I can rely. Almighty God, Sovereign Lord of hosts, I come before your throne in desperate need of your divine protection and intervention. The enemy has risen up against me, their hearts filled with hatred and their minds consumed by bloodlust. They seek to destroy me, to crush my spirit and extinguish the light of hope within me. But you, O Lord, are my refuge and my strength, a very present help in times of trouble. In the midst of this raging storm, I cling to your promises, for you have assured me that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment you will condemn. As I kneel before you, I am reminded of the countless battles you have won on behalf of your people throughout the ages. You are the Lord of hosts, the commander of heaven's armies, and the mighty warrior who goes forth conquering and to conquer. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from you, the maker of heaven and earth. You are the one who will not allow my foot to slip, for you never slumber nor sleep. You are the watchful guardian of my soul, the keeper who preserves me from all evil. Stretch forth your mighty hand, O Lord, and shield me from the arrows of my enemies. Let their wicked plots be exposed and their schemes be brought to naught. Confound their tongues and scatter their forces, for they have set themselves against you, the living God, and have defied your sovereign authority. Strengthen me with your power, Lord, that I may stand firm against the onslaught of the adversary. Gird me with the full armor of your righteousness, that I may withstand the fiery darts of the wicked one. Let your truth be my shield and buckler, deflecting every lie and deception hurled against me. Equip me with the sword of your spirit, which is the word of God, that I may wield it with skill and precision, cutting through the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Let your word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, illuminating the way ahead and exposing the hidden traps and snares of the fowler. Clothe me with the helmet of salvation, protecting my mind from the assaults of doubt and fear. Let the knowledge of your saving grace and the assurance of your love be my constant defense against the taunts and accusations of the enemy. Envelop me in the breastplate of righteousness, guarding my heart from the poison of bitterness and unforgiveness. May your righteousness be my constant companion, shielding me from the corrupting influence of sin and enabling me to walk in holiness before you. Secure my feet with the gospel of peace, that I may tread upon the serpents and scorpions of the enemy without fear. Let the good news of your salvation be the firm foundation upon which I stand, immovable and unshakable, even in the face of the fiercest opposition. Lord, I pray that you would surround me with your angelic hosts, that they may encamp around me and guard me in all my ways. Let them be the unseen warriors who fight on my behalf, putting to flight the demonic forces that seek to devour me. Strengthen my faith, O Lord, that I may trust in your unfailing love and unwavering faithfulness. When the enemy whispers lies of abandonment and defeat, let your still small voice resound within my soul, reminding me that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Fill me with the courage of David, who faced the giant Goliath with unwavering confidence in your power. Let me be like the valiant warriors of old, who put their trust in you and saw your mighty hand deliver them from their foes. 
Grant me the wisdom of Solomon, that I may discern the schemes of the enemy and navigate through the treacherous waters of deception and conspiracy. Let your spirit guide me into all truth, unveiling the hidden agendas of the wicked and exposing the darkness to the light of your holiness. Embolden me with the zeal of the prophets that I may fearlessly proclaim your word and confront the works of darkness. Let your fire burn within me, consuming the chaff of compromise and igniting a passion for your righteousness that cannot be quenched. Lord, I thank you for the assurance that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. The enemy may rage and the waters of adversity may rise, but you have promised that they will not overwhelm me. You are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, and in you I will put my trust. As I go forth into battle, let the banner of your love and the standard of your truth be raised high above me. May your glory be my rear guard, protecting me from every flank and shielding me from the fiery darts of the wicked. Lord, I pray that through this struggle, your name would be glorified and your kingdom advanced. Let the enemy be put to shame and let their defeat be a testimony of your power and sovereignty. May those who witness this battle be drawn to the light of your salvation and come to know you as their Lord and Savior. Fill me with your joy unspeakable and full of glory, that even in the midst of the fiercest battles my heart may overflow with praise and thanksgiving. Let the songs of deliverance resound from my lips, proclaiming your faithfulness and magnifying your holy name. Lord, I surrender this battle to you, for the victory belongs to you alone. I am but a vessel, a humble instrument in your mighty hands. Use me as you will, and let your purposes be accomplished in and through me. When the dust of battle settles, and the enemy lies defeated, may I stand firm, giving all glory, honor, and praise to you, the King of kings and Lord of lords. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Savior and my King, I pray. Amen. Psalm 30, I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you, his faithful people, praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm, but when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Here, Lord, and be merciful to me, Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. O Lord my Creator, my heart overflows with profound gratitude as I stand in awe of the beauty and goodness that surrounds me. From the majestic peaks of towering mountains to the gentle ebb and flow of the ocean's tides, your handiwork is breathtakingly magnificent, a masterpiece of divine artistry that leaves me utterly humbled. As I gaze upon the vast expanse of the heavens, adorned with countless twinkling stars and celestial wonders, I am reminded of the immensity of your power and the boundless depths of your creativity. The intricate design of the universe with its precisely calibrated laws and intricate systems testifies to the infinite wisdom of its architect. How can I not be filled with reverence and awe? Yet even in the grandest of your creations, you have woven intricate details that speak volumes of your love and attention to the smallest of things. The delicate petals of a rose, each unfolding with exquisite grace, whisper of your tenderness and care. The vibrant hues of a butterfly's wings, an artist's canvas of unprecedented beauty, Proclaim the boundless creativity that flows from your heart. Lord, I give thanks for the symphony of nature that surrounds me, 
a melodious chorus of praise that resounds throughout the earth. The sweet song of the morning dove, the gentle rustle of leaves in the breeze, and the soothing murmur of a babbling brook. All these harmonies blend together in a heavenly concert, inviting me to join in the eternal hymn of worship. With each breath I take, I am reminded of the gift of life that you have bestowed upon me. The very air that fills my lungs is a testament to your sustaining grace, a reminder that my existence is wholly dependent on your provision. How can I not be filled with gratitude for the precious gift of life? As I marvel at the intricacies of the human body, a masterpiece of design and engineering that defies comprehension, I am struck by the depth of your wisdom and the profoundness of your love. Every cell, every organ, every system works in perfect harmony, a symphony of biological wonders that proclaim the glory of their Maker. Lord, I give thanks for the rich tapestry of diversity that adorns your creation. From the majestic redwoods that pierce the sky to the vibrant coral reefs that teem with life beneath the waves, each species is a unique expression of your boundless imagination. The kaleidoscope of colors, textures, and forms that grace the earth is a glorious celebration of your artistry, a feast for the senses that leaves me in breathless wonder. I am overwhelmed by the goodness that you have lavished upon us, your children. The earth itself is a bountiful provision, a garden of abundance overflowing with nourishment for our bodies and sustenance for our souls. The fruits and vegetables that spring forth from the soil are a testament to your generosity, a reminder that you are a God who delights in providing for our every need. Lord, I give thanks for the intricate web of relationships and interdependencies that bind your creation together. From the delicate dance of pollination to the intricate cycles of life and death, each element plays a crucial role in sustaining the whole. This delicate balance speaks of your infinite wisdom and your desire for order, harmony, and interdependence. As I behold the majesty of the mountains, their peaks reaching towards the heavens, I am reminded of your steadfastness and unchanging nature. Just as these mighty giants have stood the test of time, unmoved by the storms and seasons that have weathered their faces, so too is your faithfulness eternal a rock upon which I can build my life. Lord, I give thanks for the seasons that adorn the earth, each one a unique expression of your divine artistry. The vibrant hues of autumn, the refreshing rains of spring, the warmth of summer, and the crisp chill of winter, each season brings with it a distinct beauty and purpose, a reminder that in your sovereignty, there is a time and a season for everything under heaven. As I walk through the lush forests, Surrounded by towering trees and the melodious songs of birds, I am reminded of your provision and care for all living creatures. The intricate ecosystem, where every plant and animal plays a vital role, is a testament to your wisdom and the delicate balance you have established within your creation. Lord, I give thanks for the countless wonders that lie hidden beneath the surface of the earth and the depths of the oceans. The precious minerals and gems that adorn the earth's crust are like jewels in your crown, reminding me of the inexhaustible riches of your grace and the boundless treasures that await those who seek you. As I gaze upon the vast expanse of the night sky, my heart is filled with a sense of wonder and mystery. The twinkling stars like diamonds scattered across a celestial canvas speak of the infinite vastness of your universe and the unfathomable depths of your creativity. Each heavenly body, each galaxy, and each nebula is a brushstroke on the masterpiece of your creation, inviting me to explore the boundless realms of your handiwork. Lord, I give thanks for the gift of human relationships, the bonds of love and friendship that enrich our lives and reflect your own heart of community and fellowship. The laughter shared with friends, the embrace of a loved one, and the warmth of a family gathered together. These are but glimpses of the eternal love and joy that flow from your very being. As I contemplate the intricacies of language and communication, I am struck by the profound mystery of your word, the living and eternal word that spoke the universe into existence, the power of words to inspire, to heal, and to transform lives is a reflection of the creative force that flows from your mouth, a testament to the profound impact that your word has upon our hearts and souls. Lord, 
I give thanks for the gift of creativity that you have bestowed upon humanity. The ability to craft, to imagine, and to bring forth new expressions of beauty is a reflection of your own creative nature. From the masterpieces of art that adorn galleries to the innovative technologies that shape our world, each work of human ingenuity is a testament to the spark of divinity that burns within us, a reminder that we are created in your image. As I stand in awe of the breathtaking landscapes that grace our planet, from the towering cliffs and cascading waterfalls to the vast expanse of deserts and the rolling hills of verdant meadows, I am reminded of the infinite canvas upon which you have painted your masterpiece. Each unique biome, each distinct ecosystem, is a brushstroke of your divine artistry, a testimony to the boundless diversity and beauty that flow from your hand. Lord, I give thanks for the gift of music, a universal language that transcends barriers and speaks directly to the soul. In the precious name of Jesus, the Word made flesh, the embodiment of your infinite beauty and goodness, I offer this prayer of thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 109 my God, whom I praise, do not remain silent, for people who are wicked and deceitful have opened their mouths against me. They have spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of hatred they surround me, they attack me without cause. In return for my friendship they accuse me, but I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. Appoint someone evil to oppose my enemy. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is tried, let him be found guilty and may his prayers condemn him. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from their ruined homes. May a creditor seize all he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his labor. May no one extend kindness to him or take pity on his fatherless children. May his descendants be cut off. Their name is blotted out from the next generation. May the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. May the sign of his mother never be blotted out. May their signs always remain before the Lord, that he may blot out their name from the earth. For he never thought of doing a kindness, but hounded to death the poor and the needy and the brokenhearted. He loved to pronounce a curse, may it come back on him. He found no pleasure in blessing, may it be far from him. He wore cursing as his garment. It entered into his body like water, into his bones like oil. May it be like a cloak wrapped about him, like a belt tied forever around him. May this be the Lord's payment to my accusers, to those who speak evil of me. But you, sovereign Lord, help me for your name's sake. Out of the goodness of your love, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like an evening shadow. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees give way from fasting. My body is thin and gaunt. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, Lord. My God, save me according to your unfailing love. Let them know that it is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. While they curse, may you bless. May those who attack me be put to shame. But may your servant rejoice. May my accusers be clothed with disgrace and wrapped in shame as in a cloak. With my mouth I will greatly extol the Lord. In the great throng of worshipers I will praise him, for he stands at the right hand of the needy to save their lives from those who would condemn them. Almighty God, sovereign Lord and eternal protector, I come before your throne with a heart filled with reverence and awe, seeking your divine providence and protection in these perilous times. The forces of evil that lurk in the shadows of this world pose a grave danger to me and all those I hold dear threatening to engulf us in a darkness that seeks to extinguish the light of hope within our souls. O oh Lord, you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. When the foundations of our world seem to be shaken and the winds of adversity howl with relentless fury, we find solace and security in the shelter of your wings. You are the rock of ages, the immovable fortress in which we can take refuge a bulwark against the onslaught of the enemy's attacks. As I kneel before you, my heart is emboldened by the knowledge that you are the Almighty Conqueror, the victorious one who has triumphed over sin, death, and the grave. 
The forces of darkness that seek to intimidate and oppress us have already been defeated by the power of your cross and the glory of your resurrection. You have disarmed the rulers and authorities, putting them to open shame and making a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them through the cross. Lord, I pray that you would stretch forth your mighty hand and shield me and my loved ones from the fiery darts of the wicked one. Let the evil schemes and malicious plots of the enemy be exposed and brought to naught. Confound their tongues and scatter their forces, for they have set themselves against you, the living God, and have defied your sovereign authority. Surround us with your angelic hosts, that they may encamp around us and guard us in all our ways. Let these unseen warriors fight on our behalf, putting to flight the demonic forces that seek to devour us. May their flaming swords of divine justice and right to use indignation drive back the hordes of hell that would seek to overpower use. Strengthen our faith, O Lord, that we may trust in your unfailing love and unwavering faithfulness. When the enemy whispers lies of abandonment and defeat, let your still small voice resound within our souls, reminding us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Bolster our confidence in your ability to deliver us from every snare and trap for you are the God who rescues and saves. Fill us with the courage of David, who faced the giant Goliath with unwavering confidence in your power. Let us be like the valiant warriors of old, who put their trust in you and saw your mighty hand deliver them from their foes. Grant us the boldness to stand firm in the face of opposition, knowing that the battle belongs to you and the victory is assured. Clothe us with the full armor of your righteousness that we may withstand the wiles of the devil and the onslaught of his schemes. Let the belt of truth secure us, enabling us to walk in integrity and uprightness before you. May the breastplate of righteousness guard our hearts from the poisonous darts of bitterness, unforgiveness, and compromise. Equip us with the shield of faith, that we may extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Let our faith be unwavering, rooted in the certainty of your promises and the assurance of your faithfulness, in the Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. As sacred psalms reach their crescendo, feel chains loosed, darkness undone. Brilliant light now radiates, new life in Christ awaits. Subscribe that truth may ever flow, nourishing spirits here below. Share this hope, let praises sound, that lost ones in freedom be found. Leave prayers for those you cherish. Let God's love in their hearts flourish. Your petitions heavenward rise. Christ's victory be your battle cries.